Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to use the 3D camera tracker in Adobe After Effects. So let's dive in. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to import your video and put it inside of After Effects so that you can put it into your timeline. Alright, so all I've done here is I've just imported my video there and I've dragged it down to my timeline. So this is the clip I want to apply the tracker to. So this is some drone footage that I've taken and all I want to do is put some text that follows the same path of the drone. So what I need to do is I need to make sure I go into effects and presets and I need to drag the 3D camera tracker to my uh, timeline, to my video and then you need to let After Effects work its magic. So this will take a little bit of time depending on your computer, but basically once it analyzes, it will give you all these points, which then you can use to you know, do things with your text. So now that After Effects and the 3D camera tracker has done its magic and it's analyzed everything, you get all these little points. And so what you have to do is you have to find a plane that you would want to put the text on and then you can um, actually start to put the text on. So I'm just going to pick, you know, a plane that looks fairly horizontal. And if you stuff this up, you can just, um, you know, undo it and you can uh, redo it again. So once you're happy with that plane, all you have to do is right click and go to create text and camera. And once you do that, you can click on the, the text and now you can start to edit the text in different ways. Now I can't see the text right there because I need to make sure that I go into my transform settings and I can change the orientation. So say for example, I can move that and then I can change some of these things as well. And what I want to do is I want to try and get it as horizontal as possible. So just going to rotate that and then bring it back down a little bit. So now if you play that, all right, the text actually moves along with the rest of the clip. And that's how easy it is to use the 3D camera tracker um, effect in After Effects. So when you're happy with your text, you know, you can uh, export it. Um, but there's also other things that you can do inside the 3D camera tracker. So if you go into camera options, you can add depth of field and you can also change the aperture. So if you want it to be a little bit, you know, it, it starts to make it a little bit blurry, something like that. So you can animate those kinds of things. So if you want the aperture to kind of uh, zoom in as everything is moving, you can animate that. So you can do that by pressing on the keyframe. But anyways, well, once you're happy with your uh, 3D camera tracker, you then can export it or you can use it in other videos or you can put it in anywhere else. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.